statistics have it that in 2019, Africa samples only made up 3% of the global genomic data, and that number reduced to 1,1% in 2021. So together, we are laying the foundations for a genomic revolution in cancer research, diagnosis, and treatment. This conference represents a critical milestone for Namibia on the path to advancing cancer research, enhancing biomedical innovation, and ultimately improving health outcomes for our people. Professor Naumap said that NAST has invested significantly in genomics, bioinformatics, molecular biology, and multidisciplinary teams focusing on cancer genetics and molecular foundation through the Department of Biology, Chemistry, and Physics. By leveraging our advances in cancer genomics, we envision integrating precision medicine into clinical practice, offering patients more effective personalized treatment options that improve survival and quality of life. Executive Director in the Ministry of Health and Social Services, Penda Ithindi, said the impact of cancer and types of cancer robs the nation of the best. So whenever there is limited investment in innovation, the solutions that we have, um, the products that we have, may not be relevant to our local context, that's one. And the secondly, if we don't make progress points in, on innovation, then obviously we remain static because nothing really happens. It remains almost, the, so the landscape remains almost the same. Ithindi noted, cancer is a growing public health concern with around 4,000 new cases each year and an alarming annual rise of about 12%. He said cancer such as the palsy, sarcoma, colorectal cancer, and non-hot kidney cancer lymphoma also add to the burden. The conference will run until Friday under the theme Harnessing Functional Genomics in Cancer Research, Opportunities for Diagnosis and Treatment.